Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. So today what I'm going to be showing you is how you can add a dark mode option to a web page using CSS and JavaScript and also how you can remember a user's preference. So if they navigate to another page or they return for a new visit, their preference will be remembered and applied. So first for the CSS, you want to create a dark mode class that will set the styling when a user toggles to dark mode. So here a very dark gray for the background and slightly off white for the text. And I'm making this style apply to all children of the element with the dark mode class using the asterisk wildcard operator. And also when in dark mode, I'm setting an icon for going back into light mode to appear when the page first loads and you're in light mode. The icon is initially a dark mode toggle icon. So the icons I'm using in this tutorial I downloaded from uxwing.com. And because the light mode toggle icon, it came with a black fill. I changed the fill before this tutorial to match the same off white coloring as the text. Now the reason I'm changing the icon in CSS and not with JavaScript is that this setting applies before content loads to the page. So if you want the page to load with the light mode toggle icon, because you're in dark mode, the light mode icon will immediately appear on page load. And if you want to style anything else while you're in dark mode in a certain way that won't apply in light mode, you can use the same pattern of only applying some styling to an element when it is embedded in the dark mode class. Now for the JavaScript, we're going to be toggling the dark class. And as a result, all of this styling, when a user clicks on the toggle icon that is contained in this image element. So I've already selected that in JavaScript with a reference of toggler. So what I want to do is add an event listener to that toggler listening out for a click. When that occurs, this callback function will run. What I want to do in here is to check the current light mode and switch to the other one. So to do this, I'm going to check the class list of the document element to see if it contains the dark class. If it does, then we're already in dark mode. Now, initially, it won't be there because we haven't set it. So let's test for its absence instead. And if it is absent, add it to the class list of the document element. Now, the reason that I'm editing the class list of the document element, and not the body, is that the document element loads before the body and its content, which means it's possible to load dark mode before any content has loaded to the page, which when you're using a user save preference is very important, as you'll see in a few moments. But before getting on to that, let's finish setting up the toggling. So the else block runs if the dark class, it does exist on the document element. And in that case, in response to a click, we want to remove that class to unapply the dark mode settings. So let's test this. I click on the icon to trigger the click event. The dark class and its styles apply including any conditional styling or elements when they're embedded in the dark mode class, like the toggle icon or the color of the H1 title. Now what's left to code is to remember the user's preference because at the moment, if the user navigates to another page, revisits the site, or even just refreshes the page like I am here, then it reverts back to light mode because the user's preference the dark mode, it was only held in memory on the previous page. So I'm going to store the preference in browser storage outside of the page and retrieve it again each time the page loads. So to store a preference for dark mode, I'm going to set an item in local storage. Local storage accepts data in key value format. It only accepts string data so that's why I'm entering true as a string, not Boolean. If I entered it as a Boolean value, it would be coerced to a string 
anyway. So to be on the safe side, I'll enter it as a string in the first place. And then on page load, I want to query the value that's stored there, checking to see if it's set to true. And if it is, I want to add the dark class to document element. So if we test this, it should work but with a catch. So if I go to dark mode, you may have noticed there, there was a flash of light mode before we got dark mode. And that is because the page content is loading in light mode before JavaScript is applying the dark mode styling. And the flash of light mode, it can actually be quite long if it takes a while for JavaScript to load. So the solution is to retrieve user's preference and to set dark mode before the body loads. And this is why it was so important earlier to toggle the class list of the document element and not the body because the body element, it doesn't exist at this point, but the document element, it does. Now, usually you wouldn't want JavaScript running in the head of your document, blocking the loading of the body unless it's involved in the loading of critical resources. But in this case, it is because it's determining the theme in which the page is loaded. And you can see as I refresh, there's no flash of light mode. And that is because styling for dark mode, it applies before the body and its content load. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please consider hitting the like button down below this video. It helps us with the algorithm and others to find this video. And if you'd like to see more content like this from us in the future, don't forget you can subscribe to the channel.